3M, Clash of the Grinders, Student Edition, Season 2. An epic grinding and welding showdown. 12 students, one champion, starts now. Brace yourselves for the adrenaline pumping sixth round of this competition. Each competitor handles the thrill of making it to the final round in their own unique way. Justin contemplates how he would spend his potential winnings. Winning this competition overall could help me in a lot of ways. Uh, some in irresponsible ways and some in very responsible ways. Of course, I can go the responsible route if I do happen to win. I think I'd like to save some of that money. And I think if I were to spend any of it, I'd put it at a welding machine. That way I could just regenerate back the money I spend and then get some more on top of that. My irresponsible answer would I'd probably just try to find the most affordable head horse for that amount of money. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jasmine revels a bit by flexing her girl power. How does it feel to beat a bunch of guys, me being a girl? Well, um, feels normal. <laughs> feels normal. I've been doing it ever since I was about this tall. <laughs> I'm not that much taller, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I've been doing it ever since then. <laughs> and Ren embodies hope to manifest his win. I feel like I have to have hope in myself. If you, I mean, if you believe that you're gonna win, you're obviously, I feel like I'm gonna do better. So I have my money on me that I'm gonna win. Now these three competitors are locked in a fiery battle for survival. The odds of me winning overall are close to, I wanna say 60%. I like that number high. Honestly, I don't think I can beat them. I know I can, now I'm playing. <laughs> Justin, Jasmine, and Ren, you've made it to the final round. Tension is definitely high. Everybody's anxious, including me. I'm very nervous about this final round. Um, I've been telling everybody I feel like if I weren't to make it here, to be a weight lifted off my shoulders a whole lot sooner because I don't have the pressure of trying to make it to the final round and do as good as you know you expect to do in the final round. But now that I'm here, it's a lot of pressure. For the final, final round? Oh yeah, I'm nervous. I feel relaxed because either way, I'm in the top three, so there's a boost in the prize, but I am nervous because I do not know what process we're doing, uh, anything about that. Somebody said that it was gonna be fun. And so to ease some of that tension, we have a little surprise for you. Last year's Clash of the Grinder winner, Ben. Ben, come on in. Hey guys, how's it going? Nice to meet you. How's it going, guys? What's going on? Congratulations. Thank you. Coming here last year, it's opened up so many doors. I've gotten to meet so many people through it. It's improved my welding tenfold. Just understanding prep work, finish work, and true cleanliness in the weld. Like, a lot of the times, if you're welding on dirty metal, that weld's gonna fight you the whole time. So, I mean, just getting to meet cool people, learn a lot about the industry, and then sides of the industry I didn't even know existed <laughs> until I came here. Uh, it's opened my eyes to a lot of things. Good to see Ooh. you. Absolutely, yes sir. Congratulations on your winning last year. What have you been up to since then? Uh, just a lot of work, uh, still in school, working, trying to learn everything I can, um, staying busy pretty much. Good to be busy. What kind of advice do you have for these guys as they go into the final round? I mean, I saw what y'all did on the last project. Y'all know what you're doing. You've done a lot of good work. Listen to these guys around you. They're all amazing professionals. They're experts in their field. If you need help, ask them for help. That's why they're here and just go do what you know how to do. That's awesome advice. <laughs> They'll tell you about 80% of welding is your prep. Even 90% of it is prep cleanliness and getting it ready for that weld. The welding is actually kind of a small part. It goes by really fast, which sucks, but like getting good prep, good fit up, making sure that metal's clean, free of contaminants, which is all on your abrasive side. There's so much that goes into it. <laughs> it's, it's a rabbit hole on its own. It, being exposed to that world, diving into that world, it, it helps a lot. <laughs>
One of the big differences with this last challenge is you guys are gonna get some lifelines. You'll be able to phone a friend, get some help from different people. So we're gonna ratchet up the challenge and we'll go find out what that is right now. Let's go. The crazy thing is y'all ramped up the pressure <laughs> this year a lot. Like, so they're like, third or second round was our final round last year. So that weld bead on plate and removing and prepping for paint, that's what we won the comp, that's, I mean that was the final round for the competition this year. And they did that in like round two or three. So I mean this year they're doing full fab work. I mean this final competition is going to be fun. I, I just got to see it, it's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, Y'all have ramped up the heat a good bit and I love the way it's going. Congratulations everyone on making it. I think all, everybody did a great job. But you're our final three. Uh, in this next exercise, there's gonna be cutting, grinding, and welding. If you still want, I'd be more than happy to throw you two into full papper systems. That way you never have to take them off. Ben here has worn one for a couple years now. Would you guys like to do that? I'm not forcing you to either. I would recommend it. All right, come up here. We're gonna literally set you up then. After better understanding the benefits of using the 3M powered air purifying respirator, Ren and Jasmine decide to follow Justin's lead and gear up for the final round. You guys comfortable with this? We're here to try to make you comfortable with it. Last time I saw six people back there running around, right? And you're working at a good rate. He was sweating and starting to get a bunch of sweat into his filtering face piece, which then loads it. It's just not comfortable. These are more comfortable in general. Competitors now make their way to the competition floor where the last challenge is finally revealed. All right, welcome everybody to the final challenge. Just not knowing what it is right now is making me very nervous. I can't say too much about it. You know, I can't put it all in words, but all I can do is, like I said, just go out there and stick to what I know and do the best that I can. I'm done if they were doing any more finishing. I'm done, I can't do it. <laughs> we have Corey here, the mastermind behind the final challenge. He's gonna talk to you a little bit about what you're working with. Corey, show them what we got. All right, we're going to build a rocket stove. Man, when they unveiled it, I was freaking out. I was like, what is that? What material is that? Oh, are we gonna have to weld, cut, and um, grind, you know, finish. Oh my God, that's gonna be the hard part for me, the finishing part. I don't even know what it is. Let me see what it's to say. What is it called? A chimney? No. You're gonna have to do some cutting, some angle cutting, some grinding. We have a full set of prints right here for you. Just make sure you follow the prints and and build a masterpiece. Thanks, Corey. Matt, explain the lifeline situation and answer any questions that they might have. So a little different than the last couple of challenges where we were not able to provide you with any information. It was up to you to get through the challenge the best you could. Today, in this final challenge, you'll be given two lifelines. Bo for welding, me for the grinding and the, and the finishing. Two only though, so Make sure that when you, when you have that question, think it through before you ask it because you may need to ask that que a different question later. This last final round is gonna be a challenge. I'm just ready to go out here and, and try to win. The competitors are told they must meticulously follow blueprints to construct a rocket stove with steps including pairing and tacking parts, adjusting for a perfect fit, welding seams, and of course, finishing. Every one of the products that are necessary to do this job are sitting at your table behind your station, as well as the community table that we talked about earlier in the contest. Bo is going to be your timer and also your coach for welding. You'll have other assistants down there in the, in the welding booth. Bo, are we ready to go? We are ready. You have an hour and a half today. Contestants, your hour and a half begins now. Go, 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 go.
In this challenge, the competitor's ability to read and follow the blueprints is crucial for their success. I'm still new as a student to welding and all. I ain't took a blueprint reading class yet. And the place I work, my engineer, he does a great job for the whole shop in making the prints dummy proof. And the fact that the prints out there are all written in metric and he typically does standard, so that way we can do a fraction. And I, that makes a big difference. I mean, I can somewhat eyeball it and kind of guess around it. I hate doing that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> The blueprint seems more complicated than it actually is. And then all I hear is a grinder starting. And I'm like, oh my God, they're already cutting. I'm still reading the blueprint. Oh man. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to finish this in time. But I kept going. I was like, no, let me just let me just do what I, I think is best to do, read it, um, understand it a little bit, and then start cutting. My thoughts when they gave us the prints and explained the challenge and stuff is I figured that it was going to be easy and then I got back there and started working and it didn't turn out so easy. Judges will be scrutinizing weld removal, seam consistency, overall corner perfection, and visual finish. Yeah, when I first started cutting that square tube and I jacked up my line and I hopped off my line and didn't even realize it from where I was cutting it. So I had to come back with my square tube and in the weld booth and weld back over it, smooth it back out just to kind of feel that cut back in. And my angles ain't the best, but I finagle it to make them angles and everything all right. Given the high stakes, it's surprising none of the competitors opted to use their lifelines when they could have truly made a difference. I got real stuck for like 10 minutes on one piece that was really simple and it just confused me and threw me off for the rest. And that was at the start too. So the entire like hour and 30 minutes, I was just like done. Man, I was not prepared. I got there and I said, oh no, I didn't ask. I didn't ask questions. I should have, I should have. Competitors, you have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes remaining today. As the first half of the final showdown winds down, Jasmine, Ren, and Justin pour every ounce of their effort into their moves. That hour and 30 minutes went by way quicker than I thought it was going to. I'm concerned that I'm not going to get done. I feel like I will get done, but as long as going as like the, the polishing finish and stuff like that, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time for that because I haven't even finished cutting out all my parts. Yeah, I'm nervous about tomorrow. Um, the judges actually gave us the option to take our prints home, so I'm going to try to convert everything to how I usually understand it. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time in my room doing a lot of, I guess you could say, studying. Tomorrow, well, I'm taking the blueprints home. That's for sure. I'm gonna look over it. I'm probably gonna call my instructor back at home and have him look it over with me. I also made a few mistakes that kind of set me back a little bit. I just fix them tomorrow morning, I guess. Tyler offered his help, so I'm gonna have Tyler's help. Tyler is gonna come to my rescue. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get the advice and see what I can do and maybe take that first place. 
I'm good. I'm just tired, ready to get up out of here. Next time on our season finale, get ready for the ultimate showdown as competitors are pushed to their limits, struggling to keep their hands steady under the relentless pressure of the ticking clock. Who will emerge triumphant? Tune in to Clash of the Grinders, Student Edition, Season 2, to find out.